Hello everyone, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel. Now for season 1 2022 on iRacing, we are doing the Global Mazda MX-5 Cup track guide series, which you can find right here on the Traction YouTube channel. But once every week, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and enter a top split race. So for the final week, week 12, we are here at Laguna Seca, a place that's very special to me. This is where I did my first ever iRacing race, and this is where I got my first ever I racing win so as always we're going to start as far back as we possibly can with the aim of moving as far forward as we can before the end of the race this one is an absolutely cracking race and i somehow summon my inner jedi powers on lap one the track temp is 27 the air temp is 26 celsius 10 laps okay dave be ready watch for the lights it's gonna to be tough go 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 so we're not in a great rush to get anything done. There's some super, super quick guys at the front of the park. Left side. Uh, in kind of alien territory. Left. And squeeze up the inside right. here if we can. Right. Left side. Ho 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 ho. Crikey. We dodged a bullet there, for certain. I need to get in the back of this group quickly. Good work on the start, mate. This is great. These guys will battle though. Gonna watch for cold tyres on lap one. What's the gap? One point eight. And these are the guys that weren't hanging around. In qualifying, you know, low 37s. But we'll just bide our time, wait for something to happen. Guys, oh, it's still super, super cold. Oh, off track yes i thought we might have got away with that one then never mind right, so clear, right. right p5 we're in mads's draft mm, nearly not quite I've raced against Mads before though. He's no slouch. He's definitely no slouch. Understeer is ridiculous. But things will happen though, they're all bunched up nicely. Oh, a little bit of a correction needed there. I was turning a little bit too early. We're still in touch though, we're still in touch. Not quite there though, not quite there. Mads has got a real helping of draft from Tommy in front though. I think that's the guy we're chasing down, I think. I think Mads will... I think Mads will get by him. Oh, 
Oh, you hit that sausage curb hard then, though. That can easily damage your car. He's pushing. Right now we've got a little bit of draft, I think. One second. The leader's just done it. One thirty seven point two zero. Why, that's and quick. That time was one thirty seven point five nine. Oh, he's going for the move. The actor point behind is increasing. It's now 5.0. The difficulty there is, though, you can't really see your turning marker when you're behind somebody on the kink. Right, Tommy. Can we get the move done on Tommy somewhere? I'm going to struggle whilst he's got a decent draft, I think. We should try and force him into a mistake somewhere if we can. I don't know where though. Exit. Right. Can we get him to defend and sneak up the inside if he drops it? If he goes okay, deep. Dave, you're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. Your last lap time was at one thirty-seven point eight six. Car right. Right side's clear. Right. That was easy enough. Gonna be a different story with Mads though. This is for the podium. Oh, 
Oh, another one. Thank you, Jim. I think I might have crashed into Mads before, actually. You know, maybe punted him. I don't know if he's he's one of the guys that I've punted this season. Dropping off Tommy now, thankfully. Too wide. Not as wide as Mads, though. He's definitely pushing. He's definitely pushing. Push harder. Get a podium here. With three more laps. Gotta turn in there earlier than you think. Yeah, he's bottling a bit through the uh, kink. Truck. Hold your line. Clear left. Car right. Right side's clear. Car left. He's still there. Clear left. On your right. That's what we wanted. Another one. Car right. Still there. Still there. Clear right. Right, he shouldn't get us before the kink, but we won't be able to see it very well. Clear. 
right. Still clear right. Mm, I don't know if he owed me that one or not. But swings and roundabouts goes with the territory, I'm afraid, in the global Mazda. I'll have a look at it after the race. Could have been worse though, could have been worse. We didn't get a 4x, thankfully. Good race though. I really enjoyed this one. But there we are. P4. I'll take that. Up six positions. I'll take that. Good race. Yeah, we got punted off. But we'll have a look at that now and see, uh, see what really happened. It might not be as bad. Is it initially looked, but we'll check it out now. Good race. Okay, let's see how we got up to P4. So we didn't get a bad start. We managed to clear the 11 car that were just going alongside there before turn one. And then we managed to sneak up the inside of the number 10 car in, well, turn two it is actually. We leave the door open, so we say thank you very much, and then somehow we use our Jedi powers to avoid the carnage in front. I have no idea how we avoided that, but that was us up to P6 after two corners and chasing down Mads in P5. So then we sneak another position. The blue and yellow car goes wide into the final turn. Just outbreaks himself. And goes on the gravel. Well, as we know, there's no grip out there, so that was us up to P5 at that point. So then it took us a while to catch up with the guys in front, but we make our move to get up to P4 on the number seven car into turn number one. Defends slightly here, but thankfully we're able to just move out at the last moment. Thankfully he leaves his room. That was us up to P4. So another few laps chasing down Mads in the number five car. Thankfully, we get it done into the corkscrew or coming out of the corkscrew with a little bit of help from the gravel. And we've got a 1x. Thankfully, no slowdown. I was just conscious that we wanted to leave him loads of room. Maybe bang doors a little bit there, so that might have contributed to what happened later, but he gets the position back. But then we did what we talked about in the track guide. He's getting a really good exit out of the final turn and putting yourself on the inside. So he goes defensive. We take our normal line and then switch it back to get the better exit, get on the gas a little bit sooner. And once you're on the inside, then you've got the overtake done. We just move forward a few seconds. So again, we'll leave him loads of room. It didn't give me much room on the inside there, but that's the overtake done. That was us up to P3 at that point. So then the number five car gets a really good run out of the kink going up to the corkscrew. So we're too wide into the corkscrew once again. This is immediately before the contact. And on reflection, it wasn't actually that bad. Although I don't think it was going to make the corner if I wasn't there because his, his break in here was super late here. He sends it up the inside. There's no way he's going to get that turned. We kind of help him around there. But thankfully, no damage. Able to rejoin and quickly get back the position that we lost the guy in front of us there 
But that's where we remained, P4. We couldn't do anything with Mads. We managed to close the gap a little bit on the final lap. P4, happy with that. So there we go, P4. I will take that. Thank you very much. A safety rating loss, but an I rating gain. On reflection, the contact we had with Mads wasn't really anything spectacular. It's the Mazda, it's Laguna Seca coming into the closing stages of the race. That's always going to happen, although... I don't think he would have made the corner if we weren't there. So that's it from me this season in the Mazda. Stay tuned to the Traction YouTube channel to find out what's coming next season. As always, thanks for watching. Good luck this week. Keep it pinned.